Hi everyone, this week we're going to show you how you can schedule updates to your fan page using a really cool third-party application called Hootsuite. So this is me in my Hootsuite dashboard and I'm not sure if you can tell but I have it linked to several Twitter accounts, um, to several fan pages, to my LinkedIn, to my MySpace, to my Foursquare. So this can really connect all of your social media platforms. This is one of the tools that are out there available to you to really manage your entire social media presence all from one location. So I have a lot of clients tell me, well, I don't have time to be jumping from Facebook to Twitter to LinkedIn. And the really great thing about Hootsuite is that you can get everything done for the most part in one spot. I haven't figured out how to blog on Hootsuite yet, but as soon as I can do that, I won't have to go anywhere else. So what I really want to talk about today though is focusing on how to schedule updates to your fan pages. So there's some other third-party applications that let you, let you schedule Twitter updates, but Hootsuite is one of the um, only ones that we know of that lets you schedule an update to your fan page and gives you not just a link, but that entire link preview that we focused on in our how-to video last week, how to optimize your fan page links. And, um, and this is... This gives you all of the versatility that you had there as well. So uh, in this case, I'm going to do a link. I want you to know that you can do this as a regular status update, that you don't have to necessarily include a link. But one of the things that we like to do is we like to, every morning, have an article that is helpful for the people who are on our fan page. A lot of times it has to do with social media and small business. And um, by doing that at, at between 8.30 and 8.45 every morning, we provide some consistency. There's some user expectation there. And um, it hits Facebook's peak traffic times. And uh, believe it or not, we're not always available to post links at 8.30 in the morning. So this is what we do instead. We schedule them. So I'm going to uh, take my video from last week, and I'm going to copy the link. Like I said, I'm going to do a link, not just a status update. And I'm going to come over and select my Neovia Solutions fan page. I know this is a fan page because it has a little fan page icon on it. And so I'll click that. Now you have to upload all of your... Um, you have to upload all of your accounts into here first, but I'm already, I've already i already done that. I've assumed you've already done that. And now inside of the status update area, I'm going to paste my link, and it says it's generating the preview. And so here's my preview. Now this big ugly link, I'm going to delete that. I'm just going to erase it and check this out. My link has actually stayed. So I'm going to... Just like I told you last week, you can, uh, you can change the title, you can change the description, and that's what's really neat about it. And it's showing right here that it's posting this as a video, not just as a link. So I, again, I've lost none of the functionality of going through Facebook directly. So I'm going to edit my title. I'm going to let everyone know that this is a video. And then I have the option, again, to edit my description, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave it as it is. I like what it says already. And I'm going to now do the status update portion. So if you come back over into Facebook, this is sort of the, this, this is what we've been doing Facebook-wise. So if I had done this in Facebook, this is what, this is where we would be right now. I would have edited this area And then now we're, we're right here. We're in this, this status update area. And that's where I'm at right now in Hootsuite. So you, kinda, you can see how very comparable it is. Okay, so you'll see that it, it's told me that if I go to Twitter, my message is going to be truncated. That's because there's only 140 characters available for Twitter. We're not using Twitter right now. If we were, then this would be... Um, and very important 
thing to look at because we would not want our message to be truncated, right? We would want to make sure that we were within the 140 characters. But we're just going to our fan page. So now I have my description. I have everything set the way that I want. If I wanted to update now to my fan page, I could. But the whole point, again, is to schedule. So today is the 9th. I am going to schedule this for the 10th. And I want it to post in that 8.30 to 8.45 a.m. time period because I know that I get a lot of traffic to our page during that time. So I'm going to click OK. It's set my schedule now. Scheduled to send tomorrow, 8.35. Uh oh, it says p.m. So this is something we run into a lot. Make sure that you have the a.m. button checked. Click OK. And now it's set for tomorrow at 8.35 a.m. It's posting to my fan page and I'm going to click schedule. So this is one way it can be very easy for you to maintain consistency with your fan page without having to put in time every single day to post to your page. You can sit down on Sunday or Monday or on Friday and do the whole next week's links going out to your fan page scheduled so that there's consistency there. There's always links going out whether or not you are having a bad day, a sick day, a good day, or a day off. You can always post to your fan page and do it in a way that um, is most time efficient for you because you're doing it in bulk. You're getting everything done and out of the way. So I hope again that this one was helpful and if you'd like to have us do a how-to video on something that you want to learn how to do, drop us an email at info at neovia, N-E-O-V-I-A, solutions.com, and we'd be happy to cover it for you. Thanks.